for the rest of my talk, I'm going to be talking about how science is telling us about uh, the Vikings themselves. The Viking research is no longer the preserve of historians and archaeologists, but is multidisciplinary. From physics, and that was a piece of physics there, but in terms of the use of metal detectors, radar equipment and things, from chemical isotopes, and in terms of the DNA and genetics. In terms of isotopes, these are isotopes of oxygen, carbon, and strontium. They're stable isotopes. The numbers here refer to the numbers of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. They're not radioactive, they're not dangerous, they don't emit any radiation. But the ratio of these isotopes depends on where in the planet that materials containing oxygen, carbon, and strontium and also nitrogen are. So if we make an archaeological find, for example, there was a lady who was dug up at a place near Doncaster in Yorkshire, and she appeared to have been Viking in origin, but wanted confirmation of that. By examining the ratios of isotopes in the enamel or dentine of the person, they could show that the isotope levels actually fitted somebody from Scandinavia or from the, the northeast of Scotland. So it was very likely this woman that was found came from uh, Scandinavia, or spent part of her life in Scandinavia. And the same was done with these finds uh, over the last few years have been made in Oxford and, uh, and Weymouth of groups of uh, uh, the bodies of groups of uh, Viking uh, warriors. And using this technology, uh, measuring the isotopes, uh, they could show that uh, these people came from different, all over Scandinavia, different parts of Scandinavia. And by measuring the protein or collagen in the bone for carbon-14, which is a radioactive isotope of carbon, it decays to yield radioactivity. By measuring the radioactivity levels, they could date the persons being found. And with the, for example, the, those found in Weymouth in Dorset, they were able to show that the warriors there came from between the period of 930 to 1000 AD. That's as accurate as they could get, confirming that they were Viking Age people. And they've used this technology to date the Viking ships that have been found in Scandinavia. For example, those in Denmark, there's the Askerkar ship in Gothenburg, and the wonderful ships at the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo.